All right, it's happened. New KOF trailer. I'm watching it. Maybe we'll actually see the friggin' UI. This is a great trailer. 39? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that the final roster size? Shockingly less than I thought they would be. What the? What the? What is happening here? This is actually hard coded into the damn trailer. What? This is on the Gamescom the actual page. Someone ripped this from the stream? On the actual Gamescom page? Now we got we got the trailer on somebody else's channel. And now it officially works. All right. Yeah, 39 characters, man. I'm actually slightly disappointed that they don't have the same amount as KOF 14's roster at launch. Or if not more. From the grave. From the grave. They were dead. Characters key to the unfolding events. Whoa. 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 Suddenly, Ash. It's an actual game. Are you going to show us what they are? Explain what they are? No! Ooh. Ooh. Well, this is all very good info, right? Who the hell was... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, this was like in the key art. Like, this look, looks like the female uh, version of Shune. This just looks like that a girl from those League of Legends CG giant animated experiences. K-Da, whatever the hell it is. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know what the f She looks kind of cool. She looks way cooler than uh, Shune, that's for sure. It's not that much harder to work. Look better than Shune. Who the heck is this? Wow! She's not from anything from before, right? They look pretty friggin' cool. I right, someone in the chat. I love her. I love her. Man. Ash just walking in. Like nothing's changed. Just like, hey, what's up? How's it going? I'm here as well. Uh, so the UI. Street Fighter's influence is significant. There's a significant Street Fighter influence. It looks fine. In fact, I feel like the, the more functional interface is definitely reigning supreme over the big flashy interfaces of the past, right? There's nothing wrong with it. Actually nothing wrong with it. Character select screen looks great. Maybe there'll actually be gameplay from this event. So how many characters are we missing? What are these DLC characters up here? Cause these look like the main 39. Yeah, are the logo slots like DLC? They must be because they say th 39 characters. And yeah, just for confirmation, it is like, you know, 3v3 non-tag. All right, yeah, exciting. And then the release date actually being confirmed, confirmed for uh, February 17th. All pretty good news. All pretty good news. I'm happy. My expectations aren't really shattered. Yeah, 39 is, is in my opinion, kind of a letdown because the previous game had like 50 <laughs> at launch. All right, here's what I've been waiting for. Beep, beep. Ooh, actual 4K trailer, thank you. Okay, just making very happy. All right, here we go. The good stuff, not that short shit. Expectations. Big story mode. Okay, here's the K. League of Legends character. Okay, all right. 
This is cute. This is cute. I like it. Still pretty good. I wanted 72. Characters that define the series. Ben's favorites return from the grave. And this is just the same trailer, but way better. Characters key to the unfolding events. <laughs> and Ash. And heroes from all the KOF sagas return for KOF 15. Dada. Why, do, why is the demo stage the, the two weirdest characters in the game? Battle system returns. New visuals and gameplay systems deliver a new level of speed and excitement. Rapukin, sorry. Ooh, Kyo versus Yori. I like this. Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait. Max mode unleashes your. Oh, they're finally fucking doing it. Max mode quick cancels attacks and extends your combo. Oh, thank you, God. You rush combos with simple button presses. Simple button presses. Ugh. Special moves raise the fight to even higher levels of hype. Hype. The most comprehensive. Damn, this is looking very good. AOF history is here. Looking good. This looks good. Tell me more. Unravel the mysteries of the ongoing KOF saga in story mode. That's the previous one. As the spotlight shines on the newly opened KOF tournament, a dormant force awakens. I'm shocked. The fates of many intertwine as the Earth heads towards destruction. Oh, of course. A climax beyond all expectation awaits you. Oh, I'm sure. Roll back netcode and what? Power spiders to take their skills to the yes! next level. Yes! Choose how you want to play. Wait, I'm, a, I'm going back. Hold on. Roll back netcode. Roll back netcode. Roll back netcode. Yes! Spiders to take their skills to the next level. I don't believe Choose it. how you want to play with a variety of... Jesus, look at all that shit. Casual, ranked, room, online training. Ooh. Oh. In draft versus mode, the battle starts from character selection. Practice your moves in training mode, available online as well. Or put your combo. Damn, this game is looking good. Holy shit! This game is looking good. It's got abolished. Look. In trial mode. The gallery mode features character artwork and sound clips, as well as a special animated short by world-renowned director Masami Obari. The newly added DJ station features over 300 hit SNK songs. Focused oh, really? On the KOF series. Put on your favorite track while you bust some heads. Bust some ass? No, oh, he said heads. Sorry. This is the best trailer this game's had. Easily. But it has entirely too much Shune. Entirely too much. Oh my god, this key art! Holy crap! The new girls do look pretty friggin' sick. Releases February 17th, 2022! No word of crossplay yet. The deluxe edition comes with a DLC Rollback pass that code. contains six future DLC characters. Early purchases Oh man Oh 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 Terry Fox Oh The DLC costume Guttle Mark of the Wolves Terry Oh Additionally digital only purchases include the DLC costume Classic Leona Work in progress <laughs> wait, wait let's go back hang on a second What is pre-order bonus 
Early access for three days, so it launches on Kenny's fucking birthday. Is this like first first season is two different teams? So I'm trying to make sense of it. It's like the first season is six characters and they're just composing two different teams that are going to be included in the, maybe the first season. DLC pass that contains six future DLC characters. There we go. Okay, that, that confirmed it. So is Rock not in the base game? Well, I mean, we don't know the full roster yet. So if this, one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, so there is, there is three right there. So 12, 13, if, if this is, there's nine characters that are actually left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine characters on the main roster. 13 characters that are potentially DLC, right? Very curious how they're gonna set that up. I'm gonna argue right now that what's going on in this trailer, like visually, I think when they actually get to the, I think a lot of the CG cutscenes with like the characters and stuff like that, like this kind of stuff and you know, uh, this kind of stuff, Looks all right, but dude, once you actually get to the gameplay, this shit is looking good. This shit is actually looking pretty good. Shatter Strike, the defense against counters and enemy attacks. So this is the focus attack, right? The focus attack in the game is called Shatter Strike. Counters enemy attacks. Max mode unleashes your offensive potential. So once again, Max mode just gives you infinite EXs and shit. Max mode quick cancels, cancels attacks and extends your combo. So that it looks like Max mode quick is the one that auto pushes your you forward. Oh no, Max mode quick is now just a Roman cancel. The new Max mode like Roman cancel is just called Max mode quick. Execute rush combos with simple button presses. Rush combos were there in KOF 14, so that's not anything too crazy. Previous game had the same thing. And this is the big one, right? That EX, dude, that went by so quick. Um, EX specials are available outside of max mode. So now you can just do EX moves. How much do they cost? Can we see? Naturally, they cost half a bar. Rollback netcode is... See, the weird thing is that they're saying rollback netcode, but there's no sign that this is, uh, online. Fortunately, I was looking for any, like, online UI. Dude, can we acknowledge that it happened? I mean, we don't know if it's going to be good. Can we at least give SNK a little bit of credit that they are trying? This is the first mainline SNK game that might actually have good online. Outside of, you know... 2002 and Gauro and things like that, like older games, right? Can we actually be like, holy fuck. That means that like future fighting games from the company could possibly have it. I wonder if it's actually SNK doing it or if it's being handled by like Code Mystics or something like that. Maybe a beta towards the end of the year. Hmm. Case completely ignored. Well, yeah, he's in there. He's not a main character though. Dude, the best part of the trailer, like the, I mean, outside of the fucking rollback netcode. Where's the part with Iori and Kyo? Hell yeah. Dude. Dude, Iori and Kyo. Not all these weirdo assholes. These weird, the, these weird modern KOF guys. You see Iori and Kyo start fighting and it looks way fucking cooler. Although I will say, uh, she is way fucking cooler than him. She is like way better than, if this is like the two contrasting characters, she is 10 times fucking better than this weird looking shithead. And this character is super cool. My God, is this Haidar? We haven't seen his gameplay yet, right? Is this another confirmation of a character that's not? Well, obviously Kay's back here. Um, I don't see Haidarn. So what I'm trying to say is one of these is Haidarn. One of them is the, the other new girl, right? So the idea is that there's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's nine. And then you take out Haidarn and the other new girl. So there's seven, seven characters that are left that we do not know about, right? Seven remaining characters. So 45, 46 characters total. No, these characters seemingly are not a part of the main roster. I mean, it's, it's a fair guess that Kula is in there, at least, right? 
So ideally, there's there's seven more characters that we really like actually don't know. You can assume that it's going to be Kula, but K Dash is right there. One new girl is right here, and Ash is already there. All that's left is High Darren and the other new girl. But that remain the remains seven characters, like seven actual characters that there's a chance that we don't know exactly who they are. It's time to get into the new generation of KOF, Max. Okay, yeah, you, you main sleepy boy and a confused clothing man and tell me how it goes. <laughs> 